welcome to yoga. My name is Laura and I'm here to do a session. This is aimed at people with a mild to moderate learning disability and it's about feeling strong and making us feel strong. So when I talk to the people I teach about feeling strong, we thought about how it helps to be physically strong in our bodies but strong in our mind too. So we're going to go through and do this class as usual. I'll be showing you what to do and explaining. You can join in with me. You can pause the video if you need to. Um, and I'll, I'll be showing you, you know, we can do it along together. You're going to need comfortable clothes, have a nice private space where hopefully nobody will interrupt you for half an hour. You might want to put some music on as we do this. So this session, as we said, is about being strong. We're going to work on our uh, working our thighs and our legs and our arms and shoulders um, and a little bit on our mind so our kind of mental strength and this lesson has been um, helped to be made by Lana, Lottie and Andre so they had some ideas about what to say to make us feel strong so I'll be saying a few of their phrases as we go through and you can maybe say or think about your own things that you uh, channel or focus on when you want to feel strong and resilient and able and capable to do tough things. So hopefully this lesson shouldn't be too tough, but it will be a little, maybe a little bit challenging. You might want some water. You might want some blocks like I've got here um, that we've used before. So you can use box, uh, uh, books or box or a little thick book or something. You might want a chair for a little bit of balancing. And you want the chair actually at the end for the relaxation. So, um, and you want your either yoga mat or your clear space. So let's take a minute. Um, you need to pause to get everything. Just do that now. And then we'll start the lesson. So we're gonna start standing up this time. So we're gonna to stand to the side so you can see what I'm doing. We're gonna put our hands on the back of our head. We're going to have our feet hip width apart and we're going to bend our knees and just stretch, have our ha hands in the back of our head and just bend our neck so we're stretching out our spine a little bit. We're taking deep breaths. We might feel this on our thighs here. So just stay nice and still. This is help us start focus at the beginning of class. So breathe in deep breaths. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And one more. And slowly come out, come and stand facing the front. And we're going to do some twists now to warm up the body. So our feet are going to be about hip width apart. If you find balance a bit tricky, you might have your legs further. You see how you go. If you want to make it a bit harder, you can have your legs close together. As it's just a warm up, just find a comfortable position. And we're just going to twist around this nice position that this reminds me of when we were younger, when we used to just do this, hanging around in the garden on the playground, spinning our arms. So you can do really big wide spins. It's nice to want the hands, the arms, the shoulders, the back. Mind the wall behind you if you're near the wall. See me come really big and wide. You might gently tap yourself on the back as you do this. Nice and free. Don't get too dizzy. Maybe see if you can slow down a little bit. Slowing it all down. And then come to stand still. And if you have a chair by nearby for balance or a wall, we are just going to shake out one leg and shake out the other. So I get quite dizzy and wobbly and I can't balance very well. So I'm going to hold my chair, if you might want to. And let's have one leg out to the side and just shake it out a bit. Let's get that leg ready to move. <laughs> Bring it up to the side, to the front. And then stand still. And then the other leg, mind your chair, maybe you're standing free to do it, you can try that, Ooh. <laughs> if I am wobbly, 
Let your hands go hip. And then let's stand nice and still. We're going to do our first sort of strong mind pose of the session. So we're going to have our feet out to the side. So check that they're in line. Have your arms up big and wide. It's called star pose. We're going to say a phrase which Lana told me, which she likes. Is, we can do this. I really like that as a positive phrase. We can do this. You might have a big smile, you might make your hat, you might clench your hand, your fists together. Have some big deep breaths. And think we can do this. One more deep breath. And bring your arms down. And we're going to move the chair away. We're going to start our first little flow. So we're going to start standing. And just do a folding flow and then we're going to come into a, a bigger flow called salute the sun so we're going to just start standing so it's easier to get the hang of it so our feet are going to be hip width apart we're going to have our hands together we're going to breathe in bring our hands up bend back a little bit fold forward so you just copy me as you go your hands on your shin so you look up like you're an owl shape and breathe out, have your hands by the side of your feet, make your knees go soft. You might have to bend a bit lower to have your hands by the floor. And then come up in a big circle and back to the centre. We're going to do that three more times together. So it's quite tricky sometimes to get the breathing. It doesn't matter if you don't breathe in the same pattern as moving, just keep breathing and keep moving. So hands up, bend back, breathe out, bend forward, breathe in, hands on your shin, breathe out, hands by the side of your feet, come up in a reverse circle, and back, and again, breathe in, hands up, bend back gently as you look towards the ceiling, bend your knees. Just fold gently forward, your hands on your shins, look up, hands by the side of your feet, maybe soften your knees, come up in a little circle, hands back to centre, breathe in, hands up, bend back, look towards the ceiling, breathe out, fold forward, you might not touch the floor and that's all right if you don't. You have your hands on your shins, look up with a straight back in that L shape. Check that the back of your neck isn't going really stiff like this, make it nice and soft. Come down to the side of your feet, come up in a reverse circle, hands back together. Well, now we're going to add some moves to that where we're going to step out into a plank. We're going to move a little bit more. so. Can follow me for this one. Just do what you can. If it feels a bit tricky, you can rest or just do the first version. So breathe in, bring your hands up. Look to the ceiling. Fold forward. Your hands on your shins. Look up. Have your hands by the feet. And this is where we do different. We step back to a plank. This is like the start of a push up. We have our knees down, our chest down our hair in our face and then we come up a little low what's called a cobra hands are by the side of our body so watch your hands and your elbows so sometimes they come out and by the side and then we're going to come up to an upside down v a downward dog like this we're going to take three breaths here we just stretch out gently here We're going to step forward, our hands on our shins, look up again, pull a straight back, bend down again, have our hands by the side of our feet, come up in a reverse circle, hands back to centre. So we're going to do that again, three more times, but just try and keep up when you can, you can always pause and try something again if you're not sure, if you do know what you're doing, brilliant. Hands up, breathe in. 
soften your front of your body. Breathe out, come down. Breathe in, hands on shin to the front. Breathe out, hands by the side of the feet. Step back to that plank again. This is tricky. You can bring your knees down straight away. Then bring your knees and your chest down. Bend your elbows to your body. And then push up to this little cobra. So watch it doesn't hurt your lower back here. So stay really low if it does. Put your hands under your shoulders. Push up a little bit gently. Look up. Check that your neck isn't really stiff and tight. And tuck your toes under. Come up to upside down V. Take three deep breaths here. This is a little challenging, you've not done it before. You can come down to your knees here. Or just stay up in the upside down V. And the next time you take a great big breath in, step forward, hands on shins, look up. Soften your knees and come up in the reverse circle again. Touch your hands, hands together. Take a breath in and out. And let's have two more to do. Breathe in, hands up. Gently soften your knees, look up behind you gently. Breathe out. Hands on your shins, look up. Hands by the side of your feet. Step back into a plank. Check that your hands in a nice straight line. Push through the back of your heels. Your neck is straight. Again, you come down to your knees if you need to. And then bring your knees down. And stick your bottom up into the air a little bit, almost come down like you're doing a press up the front of your body. And then push forward to a little cobra snake position. Take a breath. Tuck your toes under. Come up to down dog. It's upside down V. You might bend one leg and bend the other to stretch out the back of your legs. And then step forward. Hands on your shins, a nice long spine here. Come out with your hands by the side of your feet. Big circle, hands back. And this is the last one in this sequence. So let's do it really good and nice and strong. Remember, we can do this. Hands up, then back. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, hands on shins, look up. Breathe out, hands by the sides of feet. Let's come back to that plank, nice and strong. And let's have our knees down, our chest down, and come up to our cobra. Check your elbows are in, your feet are together. Your hair is out your face. And then tuck your toes under. Come to a downward dog. And then step forward. Hands on your shins with your straight back. Breathe out, hands by the side of your feet, come up, big circle, hands together, take a breath here. If you've got some water, you might want a sip of water, or you might just do that. And let's stand for a moment, let's stand still for a moment, let's take a little move to make strong toes. So. Come up to our toes. Oh, a bit wobbly. Good to stretch our toes out. We often have them squished in our shoes all day. And then let's come down. And we're going to do some poses called warrior. So warrior sequence. So we're going to face the front of the mat again. And if you tap your left leg, we're going to step that back. 
So we're standing like this with our feet apart. They're a little bit wide apart. Put your hands on your hips and push your hips forward. And then we're going to have our arms. This was Andre's position of being strong like this. And we'll just show you from the front. So we're going to be standing like this. So like we're holding strong muscle arms. So we're going to stand here. Breathe in and out. <laughs> and we're bending our front knee. And then we're going to put our hands on our hips. Step forward and change legs. Bend the front leg. This makes our legs quite strong. We're going to hold our arms like this. We're feeling strong in ourselves. Make you do this. You might feel this stretch in your back leg. Take lots of deep breaths. And then step forward again. And we're gonna do a similar one. And we're going to show you from the front again. You can go this way on your mat or you can stay facing this way. We're going to step forward with our legs again. We're bending the front knee. I'm going from the side because we have a side view this time. So this is warrior one. And this time we're having our arms up like this. So we're strong. This can stretch our biceps a little bit. So it might look like we're just standing still, but you can feel it's quite strong like testing in our legs and our minds to be as patient take it back one more breath bring your hands down and then change legs so your right leg goes back or the other leg goes back check that you're facing the front of your mat sinking down bend that front knee a little bit Check that the knee doesn't go really far forward over the foot. And then bring your arms up. Strong person. <laughs> Breathe in and out. And then bring your hands down to your hips. Step forward again. And then we're going to do... Um, another pose like this, the original yoga one called Warrior One. So tap your left leg, have your right leg at the front, tap your left leg back, step your left leg back, stretch out your feet. Check that you're not curving your back really tight, so just sink down, calm down, and then bring your arms up towards the ceiling. Imagine you're reaching up to the sky, reach through your fingertips. Push through your back heel. Just nice deep breath. Feel nice and strong. And warrior one, warrior, warrior, strong thoughts. We can do this. Or as Lottie said, we can try and do this. So if it's hard for you, you can bring your arms down. Or just have them forward or just see, just try it. Or have them up for just a few seconds and bring them down and then bring them up again. Again, it can be much harder than it looks doing yoga. It's really great to try and take part. And bring your hands back to your hips. Step forward. And bring the other leg back. So it should be your right leg. It doesn't matter if you're going the other way. Bend your front knee. Think that you're coming down. Be nice and steady. Your feet make you nice and strong. And bring your arms up to warrior one. Reach up. Deep breath, strong legs, strong shoulders, strong mind. And bring your arms down. Step forward. Have a little shake out. 
And then we're going to do warrior two poses. So this is similar. We're stretching our legs, uh, stepping our legs in different position this time. So we take a wide step. So be careful if you're not on a yoga mat and got socks on, because it might be quite slippy and you'll be doing a slip. And we're not doing that today. <laughs> so we have our legs facing the edge of the mat or whatever's on the floor. So think that's in a straight line. Bend your knee that's at the front of the mat. Again, don't have the knee go too far over the foot. Have it right in line with the foot. And then bring your arms out. So check that your back arm is the same length of, uh, distance off the floor as your front arm, so you're not like this. And then we're going to reach out. This is warrior two. Look at my shadows, like I've got wings. And we're going to stay here. We're going to look over the front finger. So some people think this position is like a fighting position. It's just a strong position. But you can imagine if you like a bit of ninja. Stuff you can imagine you're a ninja warrior. And then we're going to bring our front arm towards the ceiling, our back arm comes down our back leg. It's called reverse warrior. And we're going to come forward again. And we're going to do it one more time. And then we're going to come forward. Elbow on our knee, we're going to rest here and then we're going to bring our top arm over into what's called side angle stretch. So just take your elbow off your knee for a minute and check that you're not just squashing out into your knee. So your arm might only come here or here. Again, we can just, we can try and do this. And really stretch out through that edge of your foot. Stretching out, strong warrior leg, strong deep breath. One more breath if you're still there, well done. And then come back up and see if you can bring your feet back together. Like a little dance. And let's try the other side because we always do both sides in yoga, remain even. So big wide step out and have your feet in a straight line so they're facing each other. And then turn the other foot, the one you haven't done already, up to the front, bend the knee, bring your arms out nice and straight again. Let's check that back arm is the same as the front arm. And then we're going to look over the front arm, warrior two, nice strong thoughts, nice strong legs, strong body. And then we're going to breathe in and bring our back arm, slide it down the leg and bring the top arm up. You can look up to the arm, or you can look ahead, whatever, don't have your neck feel uncomfortable. And then bring our hands back. Come back again to reverse warrior. Just look. And then bring the hand back. We're going to come into this side angle stretch, a big stretch up the side of our body. So rest your elbow and your knee, but again, not, not slumping down. Be really strong here. Feel really big and wide and open in this side. And again, your hand might be here or here. Or if your arms have trouble with your arm, just bring it down here. You can only try and do this. Reaching up. Strong leg. Maybe think about your fingertips, feel them stretch. One more breath. And come back up. And then let's see if we can bring the legs back together again. <laughs> well done. And we're going to try um, the balancing warrior now, warrior three. Again, working on strong legs. So we might have our chair for this you could all start if you don't have a chair you can try without or your hands on the wall but it just it can help us start with a chair and then we can try without it so 
we are going to face the chair so we're going to have our hands up and come down so just check that our hands will reach the chair when we come down and you want to, we're going to be in folded forward shape with one leg up so you want to check that you can reach the chair and what we're going to do is start make our right leg really strong we're going to bring our back leg out we're just balancing on the toes you might just stay here if you're balancing if you if you have trouble with your balance you might just stay here so we're going to breathe in and bring our arms up we're going to bring our arms down to the chair we're going to bring our back leg up so we're going to see if we're making like a t shape from the floor so we're going to have our hand on the chair we might push the chair away a bit to whatever feels comfortable and just stay our right leg nice and strong Deep breath in and out. Nice, strong legs, strong shoulders. Let's have one more breath in our flying warrior, our warrior three. So slowly bring that back foot down, come back up. Take a moment. And you might like to try it without the chair. Depends what your balance is like. I can get very wobbly because I have a dizzy head drop. I'm going to try a little bit and my leg probably won't go up as much but it's always good to try as Lottie says we can try this and you might have your hands out your side for this one so strong right leg again come forward Ooh. <laughs> see how you go and you're flying and then slowly come down and then of course we're going to try that on the other side so breathe in again think about strong legs bring your hand oh, no we're going to bring the back foot out so the opposite foot just touch the toes of the mat again you might just stay like this so you might just be there and that's fine at least you're trying you're stretching so let's bring the back foot out the arms up and then we're going to fold forward, come to our balance, our T-shape. And one side might be more wobbly than the other. This is my more wobble side. And I'm also deaf in one ear, so my balance is a little bit wobbly. Then we try. We can just stare at a little spot on the floor to make us balance. Make our legs strong. Warrior thoughts. And then slowly come out of here, bring the leg back on stand, and let's try it without balance. You can use your chair again. Sometimes it's good to imagine yourself doing it. Imagine what you'll look like doing it, and then you go to do the position, and it's somehow easier. Which is also a good tip in life if you're worried about doing something like a talk or something or a piece of work or meeting up with a friend having a difficult chat imagine yourself doing it and it's much easier this is a top tip for a strong mind so strong right leg i'm imagining myself <laughs> oh strong no wrong leg strong other leg and then come forward flying warrior three Ooh. And then slowly come out. So we've done most of our warrior poses. We're just going to try one in a minute called chair pose. We might have a little shake out of our legs and arms. And so chair pose is sometimes it's called awkward pose. And we're kind of sitting on a chair that isn't there. So this makes our thighs really strong. And all these poses um, make our mind really strong because we're thinking and we're, con we're gently concentrating we're being in the moment so it makes a strong mind so we're going to have our feet so if you have trouble with balance have your feet wide apart if you're quite good at balancing you can have your feet close together or just a little bit apart just try it out we're going to have our feet like this and we're going to bring our hands up gently we're going to bend down to the chair that isn't there 
So you should feel this in your thighs. Look up nice and straight. Maybe push down a little bit more. Really chin up. Wiggle your fingertips for a moment, wiggle your toes. And then gently come down and be in a forward fold. You need to relax your body. And we're going to come up and do that again. Still no chair. Reaching up. One more breath. Let's come down. And then slowly stand up. You can try. Let's try this together. If we've got strong toes, we can try coming onto our tiptoes. Watch our balance and coming down. See if we can come all the way down. <laughs> nice and steady. Woo, a bit fast. Come down here. Good strong mind, balance, and strong legs. See if we can come up again. Yay. <laughs> so that's our standing section of feeling and being strong. Let's do a little thing. Let's do one little power pose at the end. And this is what Andre said. His phrase was, we are stronger together. Or together we are strong. So Think of maybe your friends or people that online might be doing this. Whoever you want to think of, think together, we are strong. Big smile to yourself. And then bring your arms down, legs together. And then we're going to do some stuff uh, on the floor, lying on the mat. So we'll move into that position shortly you might want to get some water you just need your mat and your comfortable clothes and you need a chair as well still so we're just going to do a few uh strength builders on the floor we're not going to do many because we've had a lot of standing work um so we're gonna what we're gonna do is uh, variations on plank so if those of you done plank before you know uh Press ups, it's similar to that. So, this is your plank position. Your back's nice and straight. Your hands, and your wrists, and your shoulders are all in a line. And you push through your back heels. Now, if this is tricky, you can just come down to your knees. So, this is another way of doing it. And it's really fine to do that. Or you could come down to your elbows as well. So try and be in a straight line. Just give things a little try. So what we're going to do, only a few little moves here. We're going to come to plank. Nice and strong. See if we can have three breaths here. And then we're going to come down on our knees and our chest. Like we did earlier, and come up to a little cobra. We're going to put our hands forward. We're going to check our elbows are under our shoulders. We're going to come to sphinx. Pose. So if this feels tight on your lower back, just stay really low or just relax like this. It's okay to have a little stretch feeling but not a hurting or painful one. So looking up, sphinx pose. And then from here, your hands under your shoulders, come up to plank again. And then come over to the side, one side, and bend one knee down, and, and then bring one arm up to the sky, and then bring one leg up. It's a little half moon balance. Good for strength and mind again. You can do this. And then bring that leg down, that hand down. I'm going to have my back to you as I do it on the other side. So I'm going to come back to a plank. And then we're going to put the knee down so you can see what it looks like from behind. And so the foot rest, bring the arm up to the sky, the straight line with the other arm, and bring the foot out. Make sure your neck is nice and rested. 
to feel straight, not tense. And then come back down, see if you can come to another plank. And bring your knees down, your chest down. And come up to a little cobra. You might come to a sphinx again. Just rest there for a moment. Deep breath, strong side. We are stronger together. And then we're going to come back to a plank. And we're going to come over to the side and see if we can take a side plank. Whoa! It's a nice straight line. If this is tricky, you can put a leg down. We'll have, we'll have both feet there. Reaching up. Open up your chest. Big, deep breath. Slowly bring your hand down. Come back to a plank. And then do the other side. So you can turn over that way. I'm just going to turn this way. And I'm doing the other side. The feet are together, reaching up, Ooh, a bit wobbly this side. Again, you can bring a knee down if that's a bit much. Reaching up. And then bring your hands down. One more plank. Come down, knees and chest. And this time, make a little hand pillow. And just rest your head on the hands. So that we've done most of our strength work today. We're going to have a nice relaxation. And we're going to come and lay on our backs. We're going to get the chair and turn the chair around. the seat that's facing us. First of all, we're going to come into happy baby pose. So we're laying on the ground, bending our knees and holding the side of our feet. You can see why this is called happy baby. I hope. Have a little smile to yourself. For well done for all the work. You push your feet down and you push your feet into your hands, but you push your hands onto the feet at the same time. So roll around there. And then, this is where if you've got nice relaxing music on, it's quite nice to chill out to that, you can turn that up a little bit. So I'm just going to do this for a little, a uh, few, not for very long, maybe 20 seconds, but you could pause the video and stay here longer. This is lots of people, this is Lottie's favourite pose, who helped me make this video. So the feet come up on the chair, you can also do this on a sofa, or feet against the wall. Check that you're in a straight line and have your hands either out to the side or your tummy, up like this, whatever feels comfortable. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> you just take lovely deep breaths and you know that right now you have absolutely nothing to do. Just relax and chill out. position so as I said you could pause the video and do that when you're ready to come out gently wiggle your toes and fingers you might stretch your arms up you might open your mouth wide for a yawn and then bend your knees and then roll over to one side and you can take a moment there like a little position that you might do in bed asleep and then slowly come up to sit up. <laughs> Just take a moment thinking how wonderful you are. We can do this. 
you did this. Maybe put your hand on your chest and just say, well done me. And that is the end of yoga. So join us again soon for another session. Thank you.